Hi, my name is Jess, and I am here to give you a review for The Queen of Darkness. I read this book because it's part of a book tour that the author is putting together, and I really am happy that I picked it up. It is book one of a trilogy, and it is a, a, a unique setup because it's not an Academy series or anything like that. It's based on hell versus uh, heaven for the most part, and you get to see a d unique take on it all. Um, the main lead female is... I'm really not sure what she is. If she was a human that was raised in hell and then given this infernal flame, or if she is a power of some kind demon. I'm thinking it's more of a human setup just because of how it's ex explained in the book. Um, but yeah, she has this infernal flame and she and a sister who I don't think they were literally related to beforehand, but they were raised together and found at the same time and brought to hell to be raised there. Um, and they are supposed to be the heirs for the whole dominion of hell. And only one heir can rule, so they have to fight, and the main lead wins. Sorry, I'm bad with names and I can't think of it right now. Anyways, so she wins, and she is told that, oh, Ari, Ari wins, and she is told that she has to now, her assignment from her father is to defeat the High Trinity Angels, which is the three high up angels who have, I think, the most power. So... She's just bound or soul bond to who she really loves sort of down in hell. And that is a fallen angel who had actually killed angels before, which is why he's fallen. And now she's thrust into this new situation and she has to come to terms on if she agrees to what she's always been wanting to, or needing and told she has to do or if she falls for them, like this pull that is coming and happening from them and also her entails. I really liked it. Um, I give it three out of five star. No, yeah, three out of five stars, only because it was not what I had hoped 100%. Um, it is only from her perspective, and I like more of reading the other mainly uh, characters' perspectives too, so I can actually get an understanding of the relationships. And for this one, you don't get that until the very end. And that's actually why I'm giving it such a high rating, because you get a perspective from one of the high angels at the very end, and that helped my enjoyment of it more and makes me more intrigued for book two. Um, I like the take on this because it's not the usual heaven versus hell take um, and it's interesting to see where the plot will go because of how the cliffhanger lands um, yeah I'm happy I was able to get, get book one of the series and I definitely recommend it it was not 100% for me, but it turned out really good, and now I'm hooked. So I'm hoping book two will follow along and get better, and hopefully it will end well on book three. So stay tuned because I will be reviewing all three of these books, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. Please like or dislike this video as you see fit, and please let me know if you've read this author, read this series, and your thoughts on it. If you are here still, please... Um, oh gosh, a fire emoji or a star emoji or whatever to let me know you're here and I subscribe if you're able to or want to. Um, stay tuned because you never know what in the world will happen on this channel or whatever next, but you do know that the next two books in this series will be reviewed, so stay tuned for that. Take care.